Uh, so, Mike, you know, from the last lift show, you know, what um, was the, you know, you've been to the li- lift show. Sorry. Manifest, manifest, yeah, manifest, yeah. You know, you've been to manifest before as just coming, you know, watch what's going on and you know, what I mean, what's happening, yeah. How did you think? Um, obviously, this is a bit more of a step up in terms of movement from the early days of the coffee shop. Um, did you used to come to that one? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, do you think it's going the right direction? It, it, you know, what I mean, um, being an artist and performer on this, what, what how are you feeling about it? Yeah, I think it is going the right direction. Um, I mean, with this manifest, I noticed that the audience was a lot different mm-hmm. to the guys that used to come to the old ones. So, yeah, um, there were a lot of people who who never been to manifest before. So mm-hmm. it was something totally new for them. Mm-hmm. People who didn't know that events like this even exist. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was nice. I mm-hmm. think the event itself was really good. Um, I enjoyed hearing Theon's story. Yep. Yep. And there's something about watching an artist perform and then listening to their story as well, which helps you just to connect with them on a different level. Papa, papa, yeah. papa, papa, papa. No, no, definitely. That's definitely cool. How did you feel as an artist on, on the bill? How was the venue for you? How was the... Because uh, the, the, obviously, you've done GL like affinities, you know, when you can't see the art crowd and, and you got like 100, 200 people out there looking at you. Um, how did you feel from, from, from this compared to uh, past events that we've done? I prefer, the, I, I prefer these small events in general to the, the massive events where I can't see mm-hmm. the the audience you can't see nobody you can't see nobody (laughs) i felt more of a connection to them and i could almost hear or gauge people's responses to what i was doing Mm. which is nice and Mm. yeah just that closeness i prefer it Mm, that's it that's quite that's quite that's quite that's quite interesting still uh because like you know um sometimes people just want it you know i've got a lot of people just like say numbers 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 we want to get this one to hit this one to hit this of course the people want to hit budgets and whatever they're still you know but sometimes we need to just allow the budgets and just go with full-on comfortability creativity and um lockdown i think Mm. you know I don't know if this is like, yo guys, on a real like for me it's like, yeah, I can be striving to make big do big promotions, but to be honest, if I wanted that tip, I'll be there calling Kirks of the world and wanna make big money from that because there's no point doing you know what I mean, try to do big shows with artists that, you know, no one don't really know. So uh it's better just to just be in a creative cool lane for me. Um like just just do crazily cool shows, you know, and um you know, so like for me it's just like yo this is like as an artist i think of an artist you want to be on a crate like like a joke where it helps your profile you know what i mean and and too often it's like you know we, we make an assumption about artists and you don't really get to know the heart and i think when it comes to um ministry and i think that what people don't realize not even ministry i think artists these days because the social media is so intrusive controlled intrusiveness because uh, let's be real no, you know what i mean very few people have um um social networks that's uncontrolled in the main in the mainstream you know major artists it's obviously controlled how they they they, they put the information out there but um it's quite interesting to see uh um um how they um i don't know it's 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 it's, it's one of you soon to see their life man and one people are just so used to seeing people's lives you know let's face it man since the invention of big brother man do you remember the first big brother michael you're just too young you're just too young yeah. then I, I don't watch Big Brother. Okay, so go, go, yeah, I he was nothing. it. Right, I Big Brother is. Oh, I was at T-Mobile at the time. Sorry. sorry what man. year would yeah, that yeah. be? One, two, that that would be um before uh I le- before I started Gospel Inc. See, so talking about like that was like before my son, my son was born. So you talking about fifteen years ago, bro? So imagine from the past. That's the first intrusive element of tv in people's lives to see the background and people just interested i don't know people just nosy you know what i'm saying it's not a drama they want to see real drama so that's why you got so many fake real dramas it's unreal you know what i mean but people want to see what's underneath that cover you know what i mean and um i don't know the, the, i mean christian we just like private private none of your business none of your business but you know what still yeah guys in a controlled way put your business out there you know what i mean that's that's, that's just my personal opinion i don't know i'm being wrong there mike i don't know, I don't know. what you reckon um that's what manifest is the manifestation of the heart. In a, in a controlled way, put your business out there. A controlled, obviously, because you know, there's some part of the business, you know, it's, it's none of no one's business, you know what I mean? Yeah, but but but, but 
your journey is um um your journey is um is is your journey man you know um i guess as an artist we're forced to put our business out there you're forced to, to some extent yeah yeah what is it forced you know there's some people that that, that that private up there but no one doesn't know what, what, what yeah well it's beneficial to put your business out there i guess <laughs> to an extent again. to an extent okay yeah. cool 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 all right guys now a quick speak Sorry guys, I had some coconut water. Um, right guys, I just totally destroyed the interview right there. But uh, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, so like for me, it's just like yo. Um, so for for me, that that's what I was saying um, last week about the reason why we do manifest. You know, is so we can see um, that what's inside out. And I think that sometimes as well, even the breakdown element of it is to force the lyrics out. And I think forcing the lyrics out is a lot of things, especially in Christendom, we do write our music more than anybody else, I feel, you know. Uh, we feel we feel passionate about singing and rapping our poetry or whichever platform uh putting our journey out there you know um some artists man out there in in in, in other work f- music worlds they don't feel no way man just give me the words i'll sing it and you know what i mean and i just want to be on the stage going to great hits you know but i feel that um i think we're, we're a bit more um you know a bit more um, personal when it comes to uh thing would you rap if i wrote you a song would you rap it no, <laughs> <laughs> never. People asked me Man. to do that before. It's a, a oh yeah yeah yeah. I remember you saying that. Yeah still. yeah, a couple times. Doesn't make sense. Mm, why it doesn't make sense? Because it's <laughs> just against the rules. Against the rules. What? It would be rules. You, listen, man. You think everyone sticks to rules when it comes to uh, rapping? If you you saying to me all them top rappers rap their own lyrics? Probably not, but. They're not, they're not real rappers. But when it was, I was looking at the history of uh, of um, of rap um, on Netflix, a program there, and they said that there's the guy who um, who uh, oh, here's Gideon. He sent me a message. Let's see what Gideon's gonna say. <laughs> Let's see. Sorry, guys. There's a guy that always watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, do we just make sure because we had some uh, listener uh, <laughs> hit me up straight away, direct. Well, he definitely agrees on manifestation, man. Definitely. Um, but yeah, there was um, there's a there's a I don't know if there's a there's a classic hip hop track that was uh, that was over like a a dance beat back in the day. Um, oh, I can't remember the name of the artist, uh, but he used some bars where he stole from rappers that were were battling battle rappers you know what i'm saying i was on the scene in new york you see i'm talking about back in the day like i'm talking about late 70s early 80s right about well the 80s when the rap was first coming out you know so like it's quite interesting and and people any and the guy says yeah man the guy stole the bars from this guy you know what i mean so like it's like bro from the beginning of the dawn people steal people's dicks it's not right it's not right mm-hmm. yeah that's, that's that's a true um creative it's like, it's like saying i'm a i'm an artist let me paint this picture and then give it to you and then you present it as your work yeah people make money from that bro <laughs> why is it you say yeah bro I'm an artist that copy Mona Lisa yeah bro you can make money being a copywriting no, but I'm saying give the original Mona Lisa to someone and get them to say yeah this is my work yeah but they may not like the size of it <laughs> <laughs> it, may, it, may, it may be a bit too big it may be already purchased so you just come with a counterfeit man <laughs> it's like but bro we do that every week in church how praise and worship <laughs> <laughs> that's different I, f- I think it's different oh, with singers here we go here we go <laughs> because oh, listen, worship. Yo, yo, you uh, hear a singer say I did a cover of this you never hear a rapper say I've just done a cover of Two pack changes, it all makes sense. Yo, yo, I see karaoke all day long in the church, bro. Like straight up, man. We're we're karaoke kings, especially the UK gospel right here. It's like even the um the Kingdom Choir praise God they've been signed by Sony, but I ain't seen them do a song about that one. So I had to make music play there. <laughs> it's coming like, woo, that's a point. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they've got the whole album written and ready to go. But we had to show is that they'll they'll be just singing songs that somebody else will be making money from. That's what we had to show the kinks of the scene are writers.